Hey, thanks for taking a few minutes out and checking out my review on the AVS video converter. Um, I actually downloaded it here just a little while ago and I like it so well I decided to do a review on it. So if you're uh, thinking about getting it, I'd like to run you through it, just kind of give you um, some ideas as to how it works and see if it is something that you really want to buy or not. Now I downloaded this, you, you can download a trial version for free and that's what I done. And the uh, um, restrictions on a trial version is when you actually create the video, it's going to put a watermark right in the middle of the video that says that it was made by AVS Video Converter. But uh, when I purchase that, that won't be there no more. So you can find the best deals online at avsdeal.com. It's avsdeal.com. And if you go here, um, you can see you have two different options where you can buy it, and there's a huge discount going on right now. Um, or you can click on um, over here on the video software, AVS Video Converter. You, you can click that, and that's where you can download it. And if you'd like to follow along as to as when I go through this and show you how it works, if you want to go ahead and download it, you can do that. And like I said, um, it'll just be a trial version and have a watermark on the front unless you decide to subscribe through one of these ways. Now, one thing I, I didn't know is that when, when, when you buy this, um, it's, it's $59 for unlimited access for life. Um, and you get all the, all the tools they offer. And I, was, I didn't know that they made all these tools. It says here that there's 18, but I think I counted 20 different software applications they have. Uh, a lot of things that has to do with video software, you can see them all here. And a lot of different things with audio software, image software. And you have some miscellaneous tools such as um, anti-spam, firewall, registry cleaners, DVD copy. And all these are really cool. In fact, if you used to go out and buy you know, a firewall software by itself, it costs you around $30 or so. Same with a registry cleaner. So it's a really good deal to get all these tools, um, every one of them for like $59. Bucks. And um, if you want that, again, that's avsdeal.com. And let me go ahead and take you inside and show you a little bit about the t software. I made a short video, um, a little Disney video, and that's what I want to um, run through this with. And here's telling me it's just uh, it's not activated yet. That's because I haven't bought it just yet. So here's the main dashboard. Really simple, nice, neat layout. If you're a more advanced user and you want to tweak videos more, you can click the Advanced tab here, and it'll it'll show a lot of additional settings and tweaks you can do. Um, for the average user, when you do your conversions, you're not going to need to mess with all this stuff. So. Um, I'll leave it down here just so you can see what it is I go through. But to start with, you just load the file you want to convert by clicking this blue button and add file. And I'm going to go to Disney Vacation and here's, let's see, I think this video right here. You see it loads it here. This is the input file, which is the file we're going to convert. It says it's one minute, nine seconds long. And then it's asking me where do I want to output the file or where do I want to save it at. And I've already saved it once, but we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, we'll just keep it right where it's at. Or actually, let's rename it. Just rename it Disney. Now the file that I put in here, this file here, it's an AVI file. You'll see .avi here, and um, AVS Video Converter it'll it'll take in just about any kind of video type video file type you have. So if you record a video on your phone, on your digital camera, camcorder, HD, um, it really doesn't matter. You're going to be able to use AVS Video Converter to convert it to play on just about any device you want to. And it does it really easy. So once you load the file, you just choose, you know, what do you want to convert it to? You want to convert that file to DVD, MP4, MPEG, and then if you click on them, each one of them has different options. Um, you know, like if we go to DVD, you'll see where it says profile down here. And if you click that, you can choose uh, the kind of quality on DVD you want to convert it to. And the same goes with MP4. Click the profiles. It'll say you want to convert it to iPod, iPhone, Android, Zune. And the list goes on and on. So each of these has additional settings. There's even Blu-ray where you can play in different files or different formats. Um, if, you're, if you're not too sure about what format to convert it to, you can just click on devices and it'll show you um, a lot of different devices you can actually convert it to. Like if you have anything related to Apple, such as an iPhone or iPod, just click on Apple and it'll ask you you want to convert it to an iPod, um, an iPhone, or even the Apple uh, TV in HD. 
It's got Blackberry, Sony, Android, even consoles. If you want to play it on different consoles like the PSP, the Xbox, Nintendo Wii, uh, you can do all that here and just select the quality you want it to play at. Mobile phone, players, and if you want to upload it online, you know, most people today, it seems like they, you know, they want to upload it to YouTube or some other online video site. You can do that too just by clicking on the web tab and you can very easily convert just about any type of file to play on YouTube. Just click YouTube and that's, that's pretty much it. And then uh, convert now and it's going to convert this video into that format. And there's also other video networks like Vimeo and you can um, upload it on your Facebook account. There's Dailymotion, Twitter, and Flickr too. So let's go back to formats, and I'm wanting to convert my video to play on a DVD. So I'm going to click DVD, and I'm not going to mess with all the stuff down here, so I'm going to shut that box. And I want to make sure this is on high quality. And we can also edit this before we convert it. I can go to Edit. And uh, you may not be able to see the video over here. I know lots of times when I record videos on my screen, sometimes the video doesn't show in certain uh, tools. So if this is just a black box right now, um, don't worry about it. So you can see all video effects over here. There's a total of 84 different video effects you can add to your video. Um, there's audio effects. There's uh, You can add chapters throughout your video and this is really neat because when you make your menu for your disc you can set up different chapters so you can just click on the chapter and it takes you to that part of the video and then you got disc menu and this is where you can create the actual menu for your disc and since mine's on traveling or um, Disney I'm gonna use travel and you can see down here it's just kind of a empty space and we can add images right here Let's put this one in there. Okay, you can see that added. And then you can preview it uh, just by pressing play if you want to. You can add background music to your page right here. Um, you can change where it says main page. You can change this title to say whatever you want to on the DVD. And let's click OK because that looks good. Alright, and next I think we're ready to convert it. That's pretty much everything. And so we're going to click convert now. And it's just telling me it's a non-activated version and there's going to be a watermark banner and that's fine. This isn't going to be a final version, so I'm not too concerned about that right now. And okay. So it's going to start converting it to DVD. And we'll give it just a minute here. You can see it's not taking it very long at all. It's really quick. Now it says it's building disk menu. Okay, it says conversion is completed. Open folder. Um, I can burn it to disk right now if I want to. It's ready to be burnt to disk, but I'm not going to do that just yet. It's got a watermark on it, so after I purchase it and redo it, I'll do that. But we'll open folder, disk one, we'll go to video, and this is the one here. You can see the watermark right in the middle of the video. Okay. And that's what it'll look like when it's playing on the DVD on your television. So um, it's really cool to make uh, family videos and, and pass them on to family members. You know, they also make great gifts and. Uh, just presents and just fun to keep around the house for your kids to watch even so but you know there's so many uses you can use this for so many different formats you can convert it to I, I mean whether it's for personal use for hobbies or even for business use you can convert just about any file to play on any type of device um, for just about any reason so AVS video converter by far from all the video converters that I've used has more features and more options and just performs so much better than anything else I've ever used and on top of that for about the same price you're going to buy another one for you get their whole set of other software tools that comes along with it um, you know at AVS deal you can go there and 
you can you, you can check out over here on the left hand side it shows you all their software and you can you can go in here and you can click on each one to learn more about it but if you decide to purchase the AVS video converter for fifty nine dollars you get all these software tools along with it for no additional cost for life and upgrades and updates are always going to be free for it so that's my review on AVS video converter um, I highly recommend it it works extremely well it works very fast it's it just does a very good and reliable job and especially for people who's never done any kind of video converting before if you're new to this it's so easy I mean it's basically a three-step process you click the blue button you add your file once you add your file you click um, what you want to convert it to the type of video or the device you want it to play on or the website you want it to play on and once you do that you click convert now and it's going to convert that video so it'll play on that device or um, or whatever you chose for it to play on so that's my review on AVS video converter I hope you enjoyed it feel free to leave a comment below um, and I wish you the best with it